Hi everybody, it's Tommy Doe from Bird Street Studio. <clears throat> Back with, I think it's uh, video three, uh, working on some ephemera and um, pockets, belly bands and that for the Fantasia journal that I'm uh, working on. And so I thought I w we would do like a bottom pocket and maybe a belly band to give you an idea of how I, I do those. Um, this is my glue book that you see me, um, I don't know, I call it a glue book. It's what I glue on and then I save the pages and these are, become the bases of my pockets and belly bands and that. So I thought I would show you that. So we're going to need six. So we need three belly bands and we're going to need three pockets. So I'll put these away and we'll need our um, cutter, excuse me. So um, our journal is um, eight and a half by five and a half when it's folded. So we want our pockets to be about five and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut three of them to five and a quarter. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but I use my cutter upside down because I need to be able to see these numbers. And if they're up along the top of it, I can't see them. So um, let's see, we want five and a half. Okay. And then we actually want to do, I guess five and a quarter, excuse me, five and a quarter for the pockets. So we got five and a quarter. And I do save these because I use these pieces as well. Let's do another one, five and a quarter. And we'll do one more, five and a quarter. and then they'll sit right here once I cut it down and we decorate them. Okay. And then our, our belly bands go this way, okay? And this is eight and a half, so we wanna do, I don't do exactly eight and a quarter, but about that, okay? So let's find eight and a quarter. I go eight and a quarter and then I kind of push it up just a hair. Okay, And then if you see, because I don't necessarily want a lot of space here, but I think that's perfect. If you can see, it's about an eighth of an inch on either, but not quite. Okay. And these pieces I will not keep. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to cut them down narrow wise. So let's just look and see what we have. If we do three inch, and three inch here, and three inch here. And that'll make our belly bands about that wide on a page, which is just about perfect. Well, it is perfect for me. <laughs> and then these pockets, it really depends on how high, how tall you want to make the pocket. I'm thinking, let's do that three as well and we'll hold it up and see what it looks like. That's three inches this way. Oh, that'll be a perfect size. And then we'll put a little 
uh, thumb hole right there. So we'll make these three inches as well. And the last one. And the reason I'm doing three of each is because in this journal I've got three signatures and usually when I uh, make pockets and tucks in that for a signature. Um, I do the signatures very similar, each similar. So each will have a pocket, each will have a, a vertical belly band. We'll probably make a horizontal belly bands, etc. And each each signature will get one. So that's why I'm doing three of each. So the next step is let's go ahead and make these pockets. As we're going to decorate these. I'm, I've got the folded end up and I'm going to take my glue stick and just make sure that they're glued shut and I'll probably sew around these so that part isn't real important. Looks like just the one corners are are loose. Oh, this one, the whole thing is kind of loose. Okay. Okay, so now we need to pick out some papers. And you can collage on them, uh, or you can just pick one background piece. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I need my scissors. Let's make one that's all blue. Okay. And let's see what other papers we have. Oh, we have purple. Oh, is that enough? Um, no, but okay, we can make one all pink though, or we could maybe collage this. Some people just tear, I just turn it over and cut it to, you know, I just hold it where it's gonna go. And then I will go ahead and cut it. Like that. Uh, I think we have some blue. make a pink and a blue. How's that sound? Turn it over and cut it. Okay, a pink and a blue. And then see if I have other... Mm. Got some other papers in here. This will be kind of nice, I think. Let's try this. We'll hold this one. We'll use this one as a base as well. I kind of like this bottom part, though. Let's cut it there. So I'm going to hold that on there. I could glue it right on there and then cut it out if I wanted. Okay, tiny, tiny pieces like this, you have to make a decision to get rid of those or save them, but I'm not gonna save them. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue these on. I'm gonna just use a glue stick.
and I'm going to sew around them so um, I'm not being real. I'm kind of being a little stingy with the glue just because I'm going to I know that I'm going to sew on it. If I was not going to sew on it, I would probably would use tacky glue and put a lot more glue on it. So, it's one. Okay, and there's three. And then we want to go ahead and cut our thumb holes with our, I'm going to use this round. And just kind of eyeball the center of it, sort of. Okay, let's see what kind of butterflies we have to put on here or flowers we can put on here. Yeah, I think I like those.
going to go ahead and I'm going to distress these. I think I will distress this one in blue. this one in green and this one probably in green as well Let's, uh, yeah, let's do green as well on this one. A little bit lighter, though. I won't be quite so heavy-handed on the distressing. And let's do this as well. Whoops. <laughs> Just put a little on here. Okay. I like that a lot. So I'm going to go ahead, because I distressed these in green, I'm going to distress this in green as well. And then this will go in my sewing pile, and I will outline it with stitching. Oh, I really like it. Okay, on to this one. This one we did in blue, so we're ready to glue that on. putting it right in the middle because I think that looks pretty cool and I'm thinking that I might outline this in two colors blue on one side and purple on the other I could do pink as well but I've got the purple out so let's use purple seeing a little tiny bit of white paper right there sticking out. Okay. Okay, and this one just need to glue on. I want something else here, but I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking a whole music strip. So let's the words off. These are from an LDS hymnal and just to make it more um, across the board I think we'll do that. I like it. And I'm not even going to distress this because I like the 
the color of it being just the off-white so put that straight across right there and then our butterfly add that to it Those are really cute. Okay, so those are our pockets and they'll go up on my sewing machine to be sewn and I'll show you when I'm done stitching them. The next three we're doing is our belly bands. And again, we can, we can collage on them. Got, uh, So I'm kind of liking this. I'm going to hold it up just so I can see the edge down here. this one down I like that and then we want to put or maybe let's see if I have a book page <clears throat> Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's... And this is going to get sewn on too, so I'm just going to, the glue, glue stick will be fine for these. 
because I'm going to go ahead and sew around this as well. I think I'm going to do it sideways. I like it. Just going to trim off the edge that sticks out. Beautiful. Let's find a butterfly that would look pretty on there. We got it. I'm gonna put it right down here, try to cover up some of this dark here. There's one, and this one, I, we had, I have more of this paper, which would be perfect, so let's go ahead and glue this right on the back of that paper. And then I'll trim it off and And I'm just going to look and see if it looks like these flowers are going in a particular direction. It looks like this would be up. Okay. So. Okay, I kind of like this. And just trim it off. That'll fit perfect right on there. And let's find a butterfly that looks good on there. I think that green one will look really cute, so let's do that. See, these are really easy if you have little pieces of ephemera like this to pull from. And I obviously could decorate it more, but I kind of like them more simple. I'll pull this down because the butterfly will be up above. Okay, there's two right there. And here's number three. What should we do with three? What if we just did using up some of our scraps?
did one, two, three, I think we could do one there, two, three, and oh, Oh, that's like perfect right here at the edge. <clears throat> so let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and glue those down. put this other blue one on the top and then I can figure out how much of the other ones I want showing based on that. That would be perfect. Just trimming down this edge right here. Okay. Now we just need to decorate. not the same uh, that one is uh, a different type of design I like it down at the bottom more with this butterfly up there. So we're going to do it that way.
Okay, and those three are ready to get sewn. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch around them and then I will be right back and show you how they look. Okay, hi everybody. I'm back with um, the vertical belly bands and the horizontal pockets all stitched around and I thought I would just go through them and show them to you. I alternated uh, on this one some zigzag and straight stitch and I did leave the threads long because I tend to like that a lot. I did the same kind of stitching on this alternating zigzag and straight and then this one's kind of fun. I just did two rows of stitching around kind of going kind of wonky around and I thought that was really pretty. And then our pockets, I alternated on all of them, the zigzag and straight stitch, except this one is pure zigzag all the way around. This is alternating. Sometimes it's easier to alternate because it's hard to maybe make a perfect semicircle. So anyways, and then this one's really pretty too. This one, actually, I was looking at it, kind of looks like this uh, belly band. But anyways... So that's what we did today. This is um, our third video for the Fantasia Journal. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Ring the bell if you want to get notified when I upload new uh, material or another the next video. And like the video, please. That helps my channel grow. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, please write them below. I love reading comments. Any suggestions for this journal because, <clears throat> excuse me, it's an in-process journal. So if you have any suggestions or things you'd like to see, just let me know. Thanks and have a great day. See you in the next video, everybody. Bye.